All right, so I wanted to show you um, a little bit about thumbnails, and uh, we had this talk in class, but basically a thumbnail is a small, a very small sketch that has very little detail, but it's about planning your design for your um, upcoming pieces of art. So here we have something that was done in the AP art class. Um, the story is about Clash of the Titans, where um, the female character is um, chained to a post as a sacrifice to the Kraken. And uh, this student wanted um, to show, you know, parts of the Kraken, because she wasn't sure exactly if the Kraken was um, some sort of demon or if it was a sea monster or something like that. But um, we decided on tentacles um, that would rise up out of the ocean um, to grab the um, sacrifice. And we decided on a bird's eye view, like from the top down, looking at um, the figure and the kraken. So uh, we decided on maybe trying a square format um, and then maybe doing an alternate uh, version of it um, of a lengthier square or rectangle uh, with a more dramatic um, bird's eye view where the hands are much larger and then the body shrinks down as you move further from the viewer's eye. Um, so two different versions with details of color and different techniques used um, and different positions of the body and different perspectives for the viewer. So basically thumbnails are just like really quick sketches that um, kind of play with your idea and see what it looks like in different versions. And then you take this to get feedback from other people in the class and then ultimately make a decision. It doesn't have to be one or the other. It could be um, parts of one image that work really well that you might want to put into another image. Um, so when you give feedback, you could say, well, I really like seeing the, the um, little suckers on these tentacles. And I feel like in the second version, you should put more of those up and around um, the, the larger tentacles that we see in the foreground. But I would go with the second um, composition. So that's the type of feedback that you should be giving to people. Um, the one that we're doing in drawing is this one right here where I showed you the image of the Japanese garden. We, I had six photos of the Japanese garden, um, one of the pagoda, one of this walkway, um, one of the uh, cherry blossoms, and then there was one with a lake with a koi fish in it, um, and then there were just different foliage in the background. Um, so combining those different images together to create this um, panoramic scene right here. So this was the first one. And then here's a, a second version of it uh, with the pagoda over to the left some more, um, which I like better. But then I did a third sketch right here um, where I use a scroll version instead of a panoramic like that one. Um, using the scroll and like really quickly sketching out the pathway and placing the pagoda in the left corner because um, I like that idea on this one. Um, and then definitely labeling what you intend to use. If you decide to use color, color pencil or whatever, um, you would label the different colors um, and then just kind of talk about like a few other design ideas like here's using three three white and orange koi fish um, having dark water um, in the background, maybe fading to a light um, as you go to the foreground. Um, but then here are my three images. And remember, I'm requiring three to five different thumbnails. Thumbnails should not take you more than um, 30 seconds to draw up. Do not put detail into it. That's for your final work. Right now you're just deciding what your image is going to look like. And since I really like the idea of a scroll image, I'm going to do one more sketch just to show you it doesn't take very long at all. So let's say here is my rectangle that I'm going to draw in 
and again pagoda over here um, and the tree coming around this way but I want to play with maybe those um, cherry blossoms up at the top instead of all these um, all these hills in the background and maybe it comes down this way but I still like that um, lake kind of curving around this way so the cherry blossoms are just going to kind of maybe a few petals falling from the top down and then landing on another branch with cherry blossoms down here um, and I do like that curve of this pathway so um, and again I'm just scr scribbling I'm not like even drawing details but I know that I want it to go um, get much bigger as I come to the foreground so there we have it right there and I have more of a dramatic curve at the top here instead of this slow curve right here it's like more jagged um, and then as it curves this way um, it uh, creates this nice snaking shape um, that leads the viewer to the pagoda right up here um, so I definitely want um, bright sky uh, surrounding the pagoda so having a really light background um, in contrast to a darker pagoda um, that'll really help to draw the viewers attention into this area like the light and dark contrast um, and then I think I want this right here um, the scene down here to be darker dark darker and then um, moves to brighter so it'll be darker down here so the stones will be dark the water will be dark down here and as I move towards the pagoda um, the whole composition is going to get lighter as I go up so that will really just move the viewers eye back up um, we'll talk about this with design but when we look at imagery we look at it as if there was gravity in the picture so our eye tends to go from the top down um, so whatever you can do to bring the the viewers eye back to the top um, like a value shift from dark to light or um, size or detail changing that like it could be blurry up here and then like get focused up here um, and that can help direct the viewers eye back to the top so different types of design elements that you could incorporate into your drawing that only took like what 15 seconds so really don't spend too much time on your thumbnail sketches with details details are for your final piece